Hello, everyone. Welcome to Midweek Gaming. Over on, I am Nick, and over there on the center of the comms, of course, Justin providing gameplay, audio, and whatever the hell else he wants to do, because let's be honest, I can't or shouldn't stop him. We're, we're still on the second debating phase. Anyways, um, interesting little bit of um, discussion here. Remember how if you, well, last, uh, last episode we talked about my theory about the Game Awards and how it was a little weird and how it felt rushed? Yeah, it was a bit more right on the money than even I thought at the time. Because, oh boy, has it blown up all over the internet and then some. Turns out the Game Awards did not only have an incredibly rushed amount to it, as in it was rushed in terms of the presentation speeches, but people are kind of rebelling against Jeff Keighley en masse at the moment because, well, everyone's kind of thinking the Game Awards felt less like the Game Awards. Excuse my clock. <laughs> the bloody thing goes off just as I'm speaking, but that's okay. Um, feels less like the Game Awards and more like Winter Game Fest in that it basically is one... I might just wait for my clock to stop dinging <laughs> because otherwise you might just be feeling a... Conflicted over me and the clock. Oh, let me just wait for a minute here. <laughs> you did? Alright, we're good. <laughs> Damn clock. But anyways. So anyways, as I was saying, it basically everyone's saying that at this rate it should start being just renamed to Winter Game Fest because, well, despite the fact that the Game Awards would, you'd think, be a celebration of games and their creators... Those guys who do a lot of work in the games field, because let's be honest, game development is hard as hell. I can tell you that from experience. Me and a good friend of mine used to be in the game development industry. It was a slog to do. Nightmare. Never game. really finished. Never really finished anything, but that's beside the point. Instead, the game instead the game awards was just kind of riddled with a bunch of advertisements and celebrity cameos, which all kind of felt out of touch or in the words of some people on Twitter, yes, I still refer to it as Twitter. I am not giving Elon Musk the credit of calling it X because I'm going to be honest, Musk, your naming convention sucks. But whatever. My point is that, you know, it felt more like a bunch of ads and celebrity cameos that felt very out of touch and out of place, especially when you've got celebrations or when you've got people coming up being like, you know, I dedicate this to my crew, to my team. You know, in some cases, I think even the Baldur's Gate guys were literally mentioning how some people have passed away throughout the course of development, and yet they kind of got yanked off stage to some degree. Yeah. Not anyone was actually set off, but it certainly felt like, you know, come on, come on, we got the next trailer to show. Like, yeah, time to move, just time feel... to move. Yeah, it felt disrespectful. In yeah. fact, it turned every one of the presenters, or every one of the actual um, acceptance speeches, only got about 30 seconds each to do their shtick about the, you know, thank this, you know, get the award and go, before they're literally a scene, like, a little teleprompter will start flashing, please wrap it up. Meanwhile, we've got, you know, celebrity cameos going on doing God knows what, talking about feet for some reason, I don't know. And, you know, I look, let's be honest, I like Adan Kojima. He does some really fun and weird shit, but I gotta say, when his thing was given, like, five, six minutes of thing versus, you know, for him to just basically show up, whatever the hell he showed, versus people who, you know, are trying to get awards, trying to accept in speeches, trying to thank their team, and they don't even get, like, a full minute. And, you know, something doesn't don't sit feel right. right. Something don't feel right it, here. <laughs> it doesn't sit right, and my lord did it show. Because, like I said, currently people are... Not happy with Jeff Keighley or the Game Awards. And like I said, some people are just calling it, you know, it should just get renamed to Winter Game Fest. With some people even saying that it, you know, it feels like an industry that is desperate for approval and attention. Which, I don't know. It seems like the whole thing I said before as well, with the whole music that seems to have been played near some people's presentations or acceptance speeches almost to kind of rush them along. Yeah, it turns out that might have been correct. Because there seems to have been a bit of talk from uh, Jeff Keighley from his account 
saying how, you know, the music might have been played too fast, and they did slow it down over the course of the awards. And while he does say that no one got cut off, again, it is weird. And again, there is a guy who actually I posted down below who was actually sitting behind the people who were actually um, controlling the whole, you know, teleprompter as well as everything else. And they did say that it could be adjusted manually and that they did adjust it as the night goes on, the, the night went on. So it wasn't just a static, you know, please wrap it up after 30 seconds. They did have some say over when it, you know, showed up and when it didn't. But again, it is weird for industry legends to kind of come up on stage to give us, you know, give acceptance speeches or something to get, you know, in the words of one person I heard effectively uh, booted out of the way. More like, you know, you ever seen that old thing where they comedically take like the cane and just yank you off stage kind of like that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. Again, it doesn't look good. There is a whole bit of other, like, there's a whole other topic I could go on here about how, you know, there's also a lot of melodrama over the current um, uh, current environment around Jeff Keighley in that he didn't mention anything about the massive layoffs in the industry, and everyone's kind of ticked off at that as well, and a lot of people are kind of saying he might be showing a bit of cowardice there. Uh, I'm not going to comment on it. I don't even have any articles down below, you know, descripting it, though I probably should actually... Maybe I'll dig up one and put it in the comment section after the end of the video. I don't know. I think I just want to focus on the whole Game award shtick itself. And less about Keely and what he did or did not say. And just kind of look at the industry's Game Awards as a whole. Again, does this... It, it, it's weird because, again... You start people. You even start. start pe- um, you start hearing people saying that it almost feels like the game awards has been getting worse and worse as the years have gone on. Which, you know, say what you will, that kind of is every award show to some degree. Yeah. But I don't think this will spell the death of the game awards. I, I don't. I really don't. This will certainly be something to improve on in the future, and I do believe um, Keeley when he says that this will be looked into in the future. And it seems like the shorter kind of speech time this year was kind of in response to the Kratos voice actor from last year who showed up and gave a six, seven minute speech, which kind of pushed everything back. So maybe the shorter speech, well, the shorter speech time was basically done in kind of predictive of counteractance to that. But I don't know. I just hope things improve going forward. I really do. Because it is weird to have people go up on stage trying to thank, you know, their team, the people who basically sweated over this game for God knows how long, years most likely in this industry. And in the case of the guys from Boulder's Gate, people who quite literally died through the course of development. Which, you know, kind of a big thing. To get, you know, yanked off stage in favor of, you know, the next big ad for something or other. Which, again, feels feels a a bit tone deaf. A little disrespectful to it all and everything. Long story short, this is the Game Awards, not Winter Games Fest. If Healy wants to do that, make a Winter Games Fest, my guy. Or just rename the show to Winter Games Fest. I get it. The Game Awards has a lot of eyes on it, and it draws a lot of eyeballs. So this is a big time to do reveals and stuff like that. I get the logic. But again, when you have issues like this, you know, something's got to give here. You either prioritize the gamer reveals or the game award acceptance speeches and the, you know, game awards themselves. And considering this is an event called the Game Awards, you know, it feels like we should be doing option B, not option A here. Just just saying. But hey, what do I know? I don't run, you know, multi-million dollar events. All in all, though, I hope to see it improve in the future. But what do you think on the matter, Justin? I've been rambling for a while. Uh, I mean, like you said, though, like the fact that certain people get get cut off when they go and try to like say, "Hey, we," a lot of effort was put into our game. Like in the case of Boulder's Gate, like a lot of effort was put into their game, and they were kind of just cut off when they wanted to go and mention that part. 
Now, let me let me kind of cut you off there yourself, actually. Let me paraphrase. No one was actually cut off. He has said that no one was cut like, off. They weren't cut off. Spread? No, but like they, yeah, you it's kind much. of get what I was trying to say. Yeah. All in all, though, room for improvement. I hope this improves in later years. Again, I'll say it. Before, I said it before. I'll say it again. I do believe when he says that no one got cut off, and this will get improved in later years. But again, this is certainly something to look into. This is the Game Awards, not Winter Games Fest. So, while I get it, this is if, if there's ever going to be a place for reveals at the end of the year, it would be here. But, again, we're here to honor the people who, you know, sweated and worked over all the games over the last year. Not, you know, Hideo revealing whatever crazy thing you hooked up in his mind lab. I don't know. Again, no offense to Kojima. I love his work, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure what he did over this slate thing. I don't know. Anyways. I just use him as kind of the, par like the penultimate example here because he was probably the best example we can use for this kind of issue if for this particular year. And like I said... People got, like, only 30 seconds to do their acceptance speeches, including industry legends, like the guy who made the um, the um, the new Legend of Zelda game, who I think is also, like, an industry legend himself. He only got, like, 30 seconds, and the guy speaks mostly Japanese. He needs a translator. So there's already yeah, going to be a bit of... A yeah, it's going to be a bit of a delay in how fast he can speak, because, again, he needs a translator. Well, not just a delay, but also it's going to take double the time because the fact that it's going to take a second after he goes and speaks and then the translator is going to speak again yeah that's kind of the point i was making it with the delay but yeah no that's basically it versus like i said the penultimate example for this year kojima who yes admittedly also requires a translator but you know the guy got like five six minutes to show something which i don't even know constitutes as a trailer uh teaser and then there's the whole business with the um kratos voice actor once again taking like six or seven minutes to uh, i don't know pat himself on the back for giving a very long speech which is both in light of recent events irritating yet also weirdly commendable i don't know we'll see going forward i just hope to see improvement uh Anything else we want to mention here, Justin? Uh, I, not, nothing much that I have know, know about. All right, then. I suppose we'll just cut it here, then. With me leaving saying, I was right. No, I'm kidding. I'm not that handy to sit here and be like, I, I was right it. about something terrible and bad. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Like that one guy was like, "This house is gonna burn down. House burns down." I told you, I told you what. Yeah, but the house burned down. Yeah, but I told you. House was going to burn. What did I tell you? You don't listen to like me. That one, that one guy boasts about getting like the worst prediction, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna be that guy. Anyways, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. See you all next week. Um. Maybe we'll have some more, have some uplifting news next week. Yeah, who am I kidding? This is the games industry. We have uplifting news in this industry. Have a good week, everybody.